So which formula do we use? Volume is equal to a number of moles times 24 cubic decimeters. So 0 0.5 times 24 is equal to 12 decimeter cubed of carbon dioxide. All right. Uh, okay, um, I'm going to do one more example and then I think that would be enough. Okay, they tell us 195 grams of powdered zinc is added to dilute nitric acid in a beaker. So we have got zinc plus nitric acid. So when we have a metal and an acid, we will get a salt zinc nitrate plus, in this case, hydrogen. Okay. So we have 195 grams, 195 grams of zinc. Oh, before we start, we need to balance our equation. One zinc, one zinc. Here I have two nitrogen, so I will need a two there. Okay. So I have two hydrogens, two hydrogens. I have two nitrogens, I have two nitrogens. I have six oxygens there. I have six oxygens, so now... It is balanced. So they say calculate the number of moles of zinc. So number of moles is mass over the relative atomic mass for zinc is 65. So we have 195 divided by 65. 195 divided by 65 will give me three moles. All right, the next part that they ask. Calculate the mass of hydrogen gas produced. Okay, so now we want to know what mass. What do we need? We need the balancing ratio. So over here, the ratio is one to one. So if I have three moles over there, I will have three moles over there. We don't want the number of moles, we want the mass. Mass is equal to number of no moles times the formula mass, which is 2, so it's 3 times 2 equals 6 grams of hydrogen. They say, calculate the volume of hydrogen that is going to be produced in this reaction. Ah, okay. Now, we know we are going to produce three moles. So which formula do we use when we want to calculate volume? Volume of gas is number of moles times 24. So we have three times 24 is going to give me 72 decimeters cubed. Okay. All right, grade 12. I think that should be enough. This broadcast is made possible by the Capricorn Group. of uh, disease containment. Now on lockdown. It is one of the measures taken by the country. How long is all this for? Scientists say that's the big question. News that connects you globally. From the world to your home with four leading news channels 24-7. Live breaking stories on GoTV. GoTV. Live it. Love it.
everyone. Back from my Puppy Patrol Club meeting. How was it? Great! I'm going to go for my Puppy Directions badge. Puppy Directions badge? What's that? It's a badge you get for knowing all your directions. Like up! Up, up, high in the sky! And down, 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 low to the ground. Are you going to practice for your directions test, Rags? Nope. I've got a great sense of direction. Up, over, easy peasy. Are you sure you know all your directions, Rags? Absolutely. Watch me. I'm walking backwards. That's not backwards, Rags. That's forwards. I knew that. Now I'm walking forwards. Now you're walking sideways like a crab. Maybe you don't know your directions as well as you think. If you're going to get your directions badge, then you better start practicing your directions, Rags. Great idea. But first, let's play! <laughs> directions badge if you keep getting your directions mixed up. You'll just have to practice your directions until you get them right. Yeah, come outside and we'll show you. Hello, lunch. I tell you which direction you're going to be going. Straight. Straight down the hatch. <laughs> okay, Rags. Are you ready to follow directions? Direct away! Great! Then dig, dig, dig a bone under the beach umbrella. I love digging. I know how to dig under a beach umbrella. Go, Rags. Keep on digging under. Look what I found under the umbrella. A bone! Yamola. Now I know which way is under. Let's try another direction. Can you throw this beach ball over the umbrella? Look at me! 
I'm throwing the ball over the umbrella. Good work, Rags. Now you know the difference between under and over. You guys were right. Practicing directions is fun. Now it's time for the coolest direction of them all. What? What? Running around and around and chasing your tail. I love running around chasing my tail. I'm a tail chasing champion. Now chase your tail the other way around. Now I'm really ready for my directions test. Let's go up, up, up. Change direction. Let's go down, down, down. Let's hold hands and make a circle. Let's move round, round, round. Round and round this way. Change direction. Round and round back. Following directions, that's really where it's at. Up, down. And round and round and round Near, far When you're following directions You'll always end up where you are Let's go over, over, over Change direction Let's go under, under now Move across into the circle Twirl your body all around Let's move left now, left Let's move right, that's right When you're here, you're near When you're far, you're nearly out of sight When you're following directions You'll always end up where you are When you're following directions You'll always end up where you are What's directions? Directions is like It's kind of like showing you the way it's where, um, like, where you have to go and stuff. Directions is like, like, arrows and stuff, like, where to go. Directions is arrows and where to go? Yeah. It means that's the right direction outside. Directions are like which way to go, like, uh, my mum had to have directions to go over to Dumpster. To come and visit me? Do you know some different directions? Like what? Like, some people think that's left or that's right. But I think that that's right and that's left. This is like up or down or this is like corners. Yeah, and then you make turns? Which directions can you turn in? Left or right or, or straight. You might be lost so you yeah, have directions like on a piece of paper like if you're going somewhere on a holiday you might have directions for which way to go or otherwise you could go to the wrong place remember all the different kinds of directions. The first direction you've got to remember is under. Which way is under? Under. Under. I remember dig, dig, digging under the umbrella to find the bone. Right. Well done, Rags. You got that direction right. Now let's see if you remember which way is over. 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 <gasps> I remember throwing the ball over the umbrella to Razzles. So, over must be this way. Right! The last direction you've got to remember is around. Which way is around? Around! I definitely remember that one. It was the coolest direction of all. 
Around and around and around. Just like chasing my tail. Hooray! Good job, Rags. You remembered all your directions. Woohoo! I hope I can remember them enough to get my Puppy Patrol Club Directions badge. Good luck, Rags! I shall get a badge too. I know my directions. That way is the way to my comfy bed where I like to sleep. What other directions does a cat need to know? I got it! I got it! I got my Puppy Directions badge! Help me to remember all my directions. Thanks, guys. No problem. Well done, Rags. And now I know all my directions. There's only one direction left to do. Pause up. Hey, everybody. It's time to play a game. Let's play, let's play, let's play. So many games to choose from. No single one's the same. seen a grown-up use a map yeah. for driving what did it look like well well we had this book it's like this direction book and it's like has this big map in there well there's like all these lines going everywhere up and down to the side the other side and they have words um, and it says um, well there's a street it's sort of like a map Except it, it's got like A1. Yeah. There's like a. Sh on top it says, like all the numbers are letters of the alphabet. Yeah. And on the bottom there's all the numbers. How do you use the letters and the numbers? Look, it's got. It's like a graph. And it's pretty tricky to explain. Yeah, but you're doing really well. Hey, is it good to be able to give people directions? How come? Because if they're in a hurry and they need to go somewhere and then and they don't know where to go and if somebody knows and they come along and say right and straight on and then right again. Hi kids, it's wagon wiggle time. Stand back. We're 
brain attack! I'm working up an appetite dance. And here's how we do it. Drum roll and cymbal snare bass. Come on, kids. Let's all do it. Drum roll and cymbal snare bass. Hey, I'm getting hungry. Let's do the next step. Off to the fridge to get a juicy bone. Now everybody do it. Off to the fridge to get a juicy bone. And to finish, jump on your surfboard and ride the waves in. Now everybody surf. Jump on your surfboard and ride the waves in. I've really got an appetite for dancing now. So get ready to do the Pido Wagon Wiggle. Time to roll and rock all around the block. Do you want a wagon wiggle on a day? In your own backyard or a favorite park. Do you want a wagon wiggle on a day? We're gonna wag, we're gonna wag, we're gonna wag our kids away. All it takes to make us giggle is a waggle and a wiggle. Do you want a wagon wiggle on a day? Do you want a wagon wiggle on a day? Do you want a wagon wiggle on a day? Do you want a wagon wiggle? if you follow the right directions. Easy? How easy? Piece of cake. Can you help me make one too? Okie dokie. But you've got to follow Master Chef Pido's directions. No problemo. I'm the king of following directions. Oh! What happened? Pido was going to give B-Max cake directions and he tripped. I hurt my big toe. Don't worry, Pido. Just follow my directions and sit on the couch with your paws up. There. Now, you're not allowed to move until your toe gets better. But how am I going to give B-Max directions to make his cupcake if I can't move from the couch? Sounds like we have a direction problem. A tricky direction problem. We'll figure it out. After we do what we always do. I know what that is. Let's play! The rooster knows just what to do The farmer's bought 
the couch until his toe gets better. Then how is he going to give me directions so I can make his super delicious cupcake? I know. We can form a puppy chain from the lounge all the way to the kitchen. And pass on Pido's directions from puppy to puppy until they reach BMAX. Great! Let's do it! Are you ready for my directions, everyone? Ready! First thing BMAX needs is one cup of sugar. Pass it on. Sugar, one cup. Pass it on. Here, Pido, I picked you four special flowers to make you feel better. Wow! My favourite flower. Flower? Yes, that's what Pido said. How many cups was it again? I remember. Four cups of flour. Four cups of flour coming up. One cup of flour. Pass it on. Flour, one cup. Pass it on. Would you like some sugar with your hot chocolate, Pido? Oh, yes, please, Razzles. Lots of sugar. Mm. Sugar, lots of sugar. Twelve cups of sugar. Twelve cups? This is going to be a mega sweet cupcake. Pinch of salt. Pass it on. Salt. One pinch. Pass it on. Dribble of milk? Mmm, yes, please. Was it a dribble of salt or a pinch of milk? One cup of pepper. One cup of pepper. Spicy. One egg, two cups of milk and a spoonful of honey. Stir and pour into the tin. Let's see. That was one egg and a bit of milk. Oh, nope, sorry. It's a bit of egg and two cups of honey. Stir and pour into tray. That's a lot of directions. Let's see. Two eggs. Mmm, eggs. I love eggs and bacon. A lot of bacon and three cups of honey. Pour and stir into tray. Wow, these are the strangest directions to make a cupcake ever. Let's go up, up, up. Change direction. Let's go down, down, down. Let's hold hands and make a circle. Let's move round, round, round. Round and round this way. Change direction. Round and round that. Following directions, that's really where it's at. Up, down. Round and round and round and round. Near, far. When you're following directions, you'll always end up where you are. Let's go over, over, over. Change direction. Let's go under, under now. Move across into the circle. Twirl your body all around. Let's move left now, left. Change direction. Let's move right, that's right. When you're here, you're near. When you're far, you're nearly out of sight. When you're following directions, you'll always end up where you are. When you're following directions, you'll always end up where you are. 